Hello, and welcome to tonight's homework help for Tuesday night, January 22nd, 2013. We're going to jump right in with calculating probability. Probability, the extent to which an event is likely to occur. Okay, uh, basically how much an event is likely to happen. Determine all possible outcomes for the following situations. Then calculate the probability of each, each writing your answer as a fraction and a percent. The first one has been done for you. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and um, let's do the socks. Um, that one looks like it might be a little tougher. Um, so here we have Susan has 30 socks in her top drawer. Six of the socks are black, 21 are white, and three are red. She randomly chooses one sock without looking. So uh, in this probability, we're dealing with a total of 30 socks. So um, and we have uh, black socks. So I'll just label all right black for black socks. Uh, white. I'll write down here and red socks. Okay. And then uh, black socks. Um, six of the socks are black. So 6 out of 30 are black, okay? 21 are white out of 30, and 3 out of 30 are red, okay? Um, then what we need to do is we need to convert this. I mean, we basically have our fractions here. It's not asking for them in simplest form, so we don't have to do that, but it may actually help to solve this problem. Um, but let's start with the, the proper way to do it. It's kind of the long way is to, um, set up a, a proportion, uh, in relation to 100. And so we want to figure out what this number is going to be. So we're going to cross multiply these two and then divide by this number. So, um, let's see here. Six times 100 is, uh, 600. Uh, so then I have 600. Uh, divided by 30, okay, so if I divide 600 by 30, um, I'll get, uh, I know that, um, I probably should have written that as a fraction instead, so uh, 600 divided by 30, um, 600 is uh, 60 times 10, and 30 is 3 times 10. So I can cancel out the 10s from the top and bottom, and I'm left with 60 divided by 3. Well, I know if I cut 60 into 3 parts, that's 20. So uh, the black socks should be 20%. Okay? Um, <clears throat> then uh, moving on to the white socks, uh, let's see here. I'm just going to set that equal to 100 down here, just so I have enough room. Um, and again, we're going to cross multiply the 21 times 100, which should be 2,100. And then we're going to divide 2,100 by our 30 here. Okay, and again, 2,100 is 210 times 10, and 30 is 3 times 10. So since they both have a factor of 10, I can cancel them out. The zeros uh, cancel out the trailing zeros there. And so I'm left with 210 divided by 3. Well, I know 21 divided by 3 is 7, so there's an extra zero there, so that must be 70. Uh, and so that would mean that the white socks are 70% uh, of the socks are white. And then <clears throat> finally with the red ones, I'll show you the shortcut. Um, there are another, you know, the, this is the proper way, uh, the way that we did the black and the white socks. But another way is to first simplify the fraction. So I can see here that 3 goes into 3 one time and 3 goes into 30 10 times. So my fraction is actually 1 over 10 if I simplify it first. And then if I compare that to 100, I know that um, 10 times 10 is 100. And so I have to multiply the top by 10, and I get I get uh, 1 times 10 is 10. So the red socks must be 10%. So we've got our percent, whoops, didn't mean to move that, uh, of each of the socks. The black socks are 
the White Sox are 70% and the Red Sox are 10%. And then we also have our fractions right here. Because it didn't ask us to simplify them, uh, it's fine. Uh, if it does say to simplify them, then be sure and uh, simplify them in the future. But uh, at least for this homework, the instructions weren't there to simplify. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the back side. Okay, and here we are on the back side. Uh, this one is called choosing a cube. This problem gives you the chance to work with probabilities. So Carmen has four white cubes and one black cube in her bag. Um, there's her bag, four white cubes, one black cube. She has two friends. Without looking in the bag, what is the probability of picking a black cube? Well, there's one black cube. And um, let's see here. Marco says it's one out of four because there's one black cube and four white cubes. Okay, um, Gloria says it is one out of five because there's one black cube and five cubes in all. So based on our lesson today, you should be able to pick out if Marco or Gloria is correct. Uh, and then be able to also explain why the other friend is wrong. So try to explain that in your own words. Okay, uh, number two uh, says that Tessa has a different bag of cubes. And... Um, <clears throat> the probability of picking a black cube from Tessa's bag is 3 out of 11. What's the probability of picking a white cube from Tessa's bag? So you have to calculate, well, if it's just black and white cubes, and the probability of building a black cube is 3 out of 11, um, what you do have to do is figure out how many are left out of 11 and put that number over 11. Okay, uh, number three, how many black cubes and how many white cubes could be in Tessa's bag? Um, so then you have to write how many black cubes there are and then how many white cubes there are, okay, uh, total. And uh, that's pretty much it on this side. Okay, if you have any more questions, feel free to text or call either Mr. Slapper or myself. Uh, and uh, good night, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!